how's it going guys today in this video i will be showing you how i came up with this moving particles background with pure css to start i only needed the div container and the h1 tag for the html so let's now proceed to the styling for the styling i already added the basic css for the body and the container so this is what it looks like right now and now I'm going to add um, a before and after pseudo elements to the container that will serve as the particles at the background. So container before and for after. And then we will set its position to fixed. Up to 50% and also the left 50% and then the width and height to be 3m and then the content to be dot and we will set the mix blend mode to screen. Next, I'm going to add text shadow to the container before and also to the after, but let me start with the before. So let me just add the text shadows quickly. There. So for the text shadow, you can add as many as you want depending on how many circles or particles you want to have on the background. And also, we can decide on the numbers. Uh, so this will serve as their position. And then I will also add um, text shadow to the container after. Let me also add it quickly. Just take note that the positions or the values here and the colors should be different um, so it will look like it's spreading out so let me remove this first and let me paste the values I have um, came up with so here here are the values you can copy this um, if you are too lazy or if you are um, if you want to have it quickly so next I'm going to add is animation to the container before and after. So we will add here animation and I will call it animate. And then for 44 seconds with 27 seconds, negative 20 seconds delay and it should be infinite, is in and out and alternate. So let's now add action to the animate. Um, let's add keyframes for the animate. So from, we will add transform, rotate, zero degree, scale 12, and then translate X to negative 20 pixels and then to the 2 let's um, change the values here to be 360 degrees and then here to be 18 and also here to be positive or um, 20 pixels and next I'm going to add um, animation duration to the before and after and also animation delay so let me add it here animation duration for 44 seconds and then animation delay for negative 27 seconds just let me copy this and paste it to the after this should be after i'm sorry so for the after we need to change this to 43 seconds and negative 32 seconds so let's now check the result there 
So that ends this tutorial. I hope you have found it easy to understand.